So Sri Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj Ji blessed us with a hukum nama Amrit Vela and they also blessed us with a hukum nama at this time as well. For those of you that may not know, Guruji can speak to us and the way that Guruji speaks to us is that during the Ardas, we should try and focus and we should try and talk with our minds to Guruji. We don't have to say anything because Guruji can hear us without us speaking. He knows everything. Therefore, when we stand for Ardas and Sri Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj is open and we have Darshan of Guru Sahib, the Shabad that is read is not chosen by Pai Sahib Ji or anyone else. It's completely at random and it, we believe it to be Guruji's word and blessing and message for us. So today, Shri Guru Ramda Sahib Maharaj has blessed us. Uh, we will listen to the Katha very briefly of this Shabad, the meanings of this Shabad and the message that Guruji has given us after this Ardas. Our Premnal Sarvan Kariye. Satnam Sri Vahe Guru Sahib Ji Yo Suhi Mahalla Chautha Sri Guru Ram Das Sahib Ji has taught us in this Suhi Raag So Guru Granth Sahib Ji is in different Raags, 31 Raags Each of those is a melody or a tune So we were blessed this morning with Pai Satnam Singh Kaharka A Hajuri Raagi from Satchkan Shri Harmandar Sahib Who is trained in Kirtan to learn the Raags of Sri Guru Granth Sahib Ji and perform Kirtan so in this Suhi Raag, Guru Ram Das Ji, who is the fourth Guru, has blessed us with the Shabad. Har har karhe nit kapat kamavahe, hirda sudd na hui. We might pretend to be holy, we might wear the right clothes, like for example I wear Barna. We may have taken Amrit, we may not have, we may be coming on the path. We might essentially look the part. Guru Gobind Singh Ji says, Pek the Kai Jagatako Logan Ko Baskin Antakal Kati Katyo Bas Narkumolin. What that means is, is that we might be able to fool the world. So you can make your friends, maybe your family, maybe someone else think that you're really close to Guruji, but you cannot fake it with Guruji. And in this Shabad, Maharaj tells us that you might even be doing part or repeating Vahi Guruji's name. But if in your mind, you're not actually trying, you're not actually following the path, then you're not just cheat here, uh, which means you're cheating. So you're not just cheating anyone else, but you're cheating yourself. But worst of all, you'd be cheating Guruji. Sometimes we close our eyes um, in Divan, thinking that it will help us concentrate, but sometimes we just fall asleep, we do it sometimes to make ourselves look as if we're concentrating. Sometimes it's just okay to open your eyes and look at Guruji. Sometimes if you're finding it really difficult to sit, then you could just stand at the back of the bar as well for five minutes and then come and sit down. Sikh is very practical. So always with your heart, we should try and worship Guruji and do part and Simran and Seva with a truthful heart. Neita hirda sudna hoi, our mind does not become clean. Anandan karam kare bahatere, supna sukna hoi. We might do lots of rituals every single day, but we cannot, we won't get the peace and the happiness that we wish even in our dreams. Hanji. Jani Gorbina Pagna Hui. Guruji says that we may be very intelligent. We might learn lots of facts in this camp, or we might learn facts around in the world. Gyanni Gurbina Pagatana Hui. You may be a Gyanni by title, like I am called a Gyanni, uh, others are called Gyanni, but that doesn't necessarily mean that we're close with Vahiguru. Titles are titles. Here, Gyanni Gurbina Pagatana Hui, without Bhagati, without actually following Guruji's teaching, without actually following Guruji's path, none of us are holy, none of us are really following Sikhi. Sikhi is not just about talking, it's about walking on the path. Hanji. Some of you will know um, you can have colors uh, that are erasable or you can have paints that you can paint on paper and you can wash them away. 
Now, if you want to make a painting, if you, you know, maybe you think you're Picasso and you want a painting forever, it's probably not a good idea to use those. You need to use permanent, good quality ink to make those drawings. In that same way, Guruji is saying, Kore rang kade na chade, je locha sab koi. Jeda kora rang hunda, kacha rang hunda va. Like pretend simran, pretend part, pretending to be the part. U rang ni chade that it doesn't actually stay. If you imagine a paint was painted with fake paint, rain came and all the paint came off, that's what it's like. When Guruji looks at us, they don't look at our appearance, they look what's inside. Guruji's vision, the way that Guruji looks at us, is if you imagine like rain, and that rain can wash everything away. Even if everyone wishes to pretend in front of Guruji, even then, Guruji knows what's inside of us. Hanji. Oh. Guruji pauses and tells us. Jab tab sanjan vart kare puja man mukrog na jai. So, a person that is constantly listening to their mind, they don't lose their disease. The biggest disease that they have is ego or thinking constantly that I know better and I don't need to listen to Guruji because I already know everything. I am not a learner. We, we learn in Gurmat class this year, I am a Sikh, Sikh means learner. We learn from Guruji as part of our curriculum. So in this part of the Shabbat, Guruji continues to tell us that we might be reciting different things. We might be meditating. We might be trying to restrain and change the way that we are externally. And we might work the, uh, a lot of people in the world fast, so they give up food as um, a, a way of worshipping Vaheguru, but that's not Sikhi. Um, even if your parents do it, I know some of your mothers might do it for Karva Jath, but that's not Sikhi, that's not allowed. Guruji is clearly saying, Jab tab sanjam vart kare puja manmuk rog na jai. So you tell them, we listen to Hukum Namakata at camp. And that's not a part of Sikhi, Hanji. So inside of our, us, the disease of our ego, the, the pride that we have, and Dujepai means that we're constantly doubting, we're constantly thinking, should I, shall I do the right thing? Or maybe I could sleep in for a bit longer. Should I give up meat this month? Or should I... Uh, continue to have whatever it is that you might be enjoying as a part of the luxuries in your life. That kind of two-mindedness, that doesn't go unless you actually try to practice, practice Sikhi from inside. Now, you might be able to look the part, again Guruji says, and with your cleverness you might be able to fool people, but your mind will still go in all ten directions. I'm conscious of the time, but there's a story in Siri Guru Nanak Dev Ji's time where Guru Nanak Dev Ji was asked by the Muslims to go to the mosque and pray with them. And when Guruji was happy day in India. However, in the empire of Punjab, which was eventually, as we talked about yesterday, taken by the British, the state of Punjab in 1947, around 75 years ago, 76 years ago this year, it was split into two. It's literally, if you imagine Bristol or, or Wales or wherever you live, Northampton, Birmingham, Wolverhampton, and someone just made a line on a map. Through the map, you can't come on this side and you can't come on that side. Now, I know in Bristol, for example, we have Gurdwaras, uh, we have kind of two Gurdwaras in Eastern in Vish Ponds, and then we have two Gurdwaras in Sameo and St. George. Say someone drew a line that we can go to these Gurdwaras, but we can't go to those Gurdwaras. That's not really fair, and it's quite horrible really. But imagine if you live on one side, say we live in Bristol, and the, the bridge was closed forever and we couldn't go back. In 1947, on this particular day, the place, the land where Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj was born, Sri Nankana Sahib, the place where Guru Arjun Dev Ji became Shaheed, Dera Sahib, and many, many other Gurdwara Sahibs and historical places where the mother of the Khalsa, Mata Sahib Deva Kaur Ji, 
was born in Rabatas in Jhelum and many other Gurdwaras we lost. Over, over one million people lost that moved, migrate, had to migrate from one area to the other in that partition. And thousands upon thousands lost their lives. My own grandfather, my nana, he, he was one of the refugees as, as they were known in those days. As he was traveling across the camp, his sister was with him, she became ill, there wasn't any doctors, she died. And it was such a sad and a horrific time that she did not get a, a, a good funeral or anything and, and that's what it was. And people dug holes in the ground like you guys have your phones, iPad, your, your possessions. Imagine you're going somewhere and you think, okay, maybe I'm gonna come home, let's put them somewhere safe. People actually dug holes in the ground and put their belongings in. Even in Punjab, in India, where we are now, some villages, they, they dug up things 50, 60 years ago and they would find things in the ground, people just left. And that, and that happened. And there's many other areas in India and in Pakistan, but the most affected area whether it was deliberate or not deliberate, or whether it was, let's just not care about the land of the Sikhs, whether it was the leaders at that time for, well, they can go to Harmandar Sahib, maybe they'll compromise, maybe they, they won't want to go to Nankana Sahib, uh, and all of those other shrines, that line was drawn, and we lost many of our Gurdwara Sahibs. And every day in Ardas, you will hear Shri Nankana Sahib, Panja Sahib, Dira Sahib, Ghor Gurdwari Gurtam, Jina to Panthanu Vishodhya Gya Hai Tina De Khulle Darshan De Dar Khalsa Panthanu Bakshu, which means we pray every single day that the Khalsa's empire, the Khalsa's Raj is re-established and it's all fair that we can go and visit the land where Shri Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj was born, that miraculous area where Guruji came, where there were so many miracles, Guruji was able to make the farms go green after they were all destroyed, where Guruji themselves herded cows, where Guruji put their hand on a stone and the mark on the stone, Panja Sahib is still there. So many, the stories that you guys would have heard of Vali Kandari, of Sajjan Thak and many other stories, those Gurdwara Sahibs are now in Pakistan and we have to get a visa to go there and many people in India are not able to have darshan of those and we're not able to freely have the darshan of those Gurtams in Pakistan or for some of us in India also. Sadhguruji Kirpa Karna that we're blessed with the darshan of those asthans. Aadho Pankhya Padke Tismaapti Kariye Di Tisma Yadda Puri Kar Liye. Nanak Nadar Kare So Bujhe So Jan Naam Te Aai गुर प्रसादी को पूजा एक समाहि समाई वाहिगुरु जी का खालसा वाहिगुरु जी की